I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I would like to show you phacoemulsification in a small pupil. Now look at the atrophic iris, just look at the color. Atrophy is more in the periphery where dilated pupil is located and that's why sphincter is more powerful and the pupil is constricted. I tried topical epinephrine, tropicamide, proparacaine but in vain. And now I have given 2.75 incision after incision now trying intracameral adrenaline but still no dilatation occurred so I had to proceed in small pinpoint pupil. I decided to stain the anterior capsule with blue dye. After injecting the air bubble I put the blue dye to avoid the contact of dye with corneal endothelium. After few seconds, wash it with saline. You can see that the capsule has been stained and now put viscoelastic to create room for intracameral manipulation. Now if the nucleus is very hard and pupil this much constricted straight away perform manual ECCE or a small incision cataract surgery but here uh, it is NS4 cataract so I started the most important step how to perform capsulorexis in a small pupil well you have to give a radial cut in the center elevate the flap evert it and then continue it behind the iris I have performed it number of times without a single uh, radial capsulorexis. Uh, if you do small rexes uh, in a small pupil, phaco becomes extremely difficult. So here uh, you can see that the uh, margin of the capsulorexis is not visible. It is behind the iris. Large capsulorexis is the rule in a pinpoint pupil in my technique now the next step is hydro dissection now that's also very challenging because anterior capsular margins are hidden under iris so you need to press the anterior lens surface with the hydrating cannula and go behind iris and inject water as cataract swells it means you are in the bag and you have done the right hydration like we have done and now we are starting uh, phaco emulsification in a pinpoint pupil the second instrument becomes extremely important uh, first i have uh, aspirated the cortex uh, and now I am making a central groove and the art of doing phaco emulsification in a small capsule is and expertise is that if you don't touch the iris the iris if you are unable to control your phaco emulsification then you should not perform you can use uh, iris hooks, uh, you can use uh, pupillary expansion rings, uh, you can even use the dialer and chopper uh, to stretch the iris, uh, but uh, I don't use these things because uh, I can perform phaco emulsification in such a uh, constricted pupil. Now you can see that I have elevated the nucleus and now with the second instrument I have divided the nucleus into two pieces and uh, along with the continuous uh, chopping uh, I am also aspirating the lens matter you can see now I am rotating the nucleus uh, again I have divided it into four pieces Dialer uh, or chopper, the second instrument becomes extremely important in such a small pupil. Now you can see I am slowly and gradually rotating the nucleus uh, and chopping and aspirating.
so that's my technique elevate it from one edge and chop it with the second instrument and aspirate it now again i am putting viscoelastic I also do the FECO bevel down position so that also increases the chances of iris chafing but if you follow the basic rule of FECO emulsification that uh, keep the FECO probe in the center of the pupil whether the pupil is dilated or constricted uh, then there are less chances of iris chafing and you can see in this small pupil I have uh, aspirated the whole nucleus. Uh, and now I have come out of the anterior chamber and you can see that the cornea is shining and almost as the cataract was hard so there are not enough cortical sheets but still you have to do manual irrigation aspiration because in a small pupil there are also more chances that you may leave some lens matter behind. And now foldable I will insertion with injector. Now I'll I will normally I inject in the capsule, but here it was in the anterior chamber. So with the help of a dialer, I have put the foldable I will in the bag. Now I'll remove the Again, there are some cortical matter. Make sure you remove all the viscoelastic and all the lens matter. So that was phaco emulsification in a small pupil without iris chafing, without trauma to the zanules, and without um, trauma to the endothelium. Thank you.